Welcome back sci-fi fans, this is Greg from Greg Reviews Sci-Fi and today we're going to review a book by Marina J. Lostetter called Numenon. <sighs> Numenon. Apparently the opposite of a phenomenon. And I'd say that, that that's accurate. For this book. I've never really been frustrated by a book to the extent Numenon frustrated me. I mean, it, it is literally like driving to the office in dead stop traffic only to find the office is closed or locked. Then getting back in your car and your car won't start. And then, finally, when you get your car started, you pull right back out into traffic. And then, when you get home, no one's even happy to see you. That, you know, spoilers, that's this book. And what's irritating is, is the book has moments of greatness. It just has too much jammed into a single book. It almost seems like the author wanted to, like, had this vision of the story that she wanted to tell, but didn't want to take three books or four books, or maybe even five books, to tell it properly. I mean, in some cases, this is a Dyson Sphere book, right? Where you go investigate a Dyson Sphere and you uncover cool technology. That's really awesome. On the other hand, this is a generationship book where the culture of the ship in the convoy takes, make, you know, goes through changes. And they have to figure out how to live with each other for hundreds of years on a ship. That is cool. Then it's an artificial intelligence book where the AI called ICC, which is arguably the best character in the whole book, is learning about life and finding his place on the convoy. He, it, her, um, I believe it identifies as, I don't know, actually. So you have to re reply in the comments if you think the ICC identifies as a gender. But either way, it, 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 that could have been a book. ICC's journey. Then, the future Earth. How they interact with future Earth, heading home from the Dyson Sphere. That entire thing could have been a book. It's super interesting. They they have a new way of computing. They uh, became very isolationist. So many great aspects about this book, but in a in in itself, written in the way it's written, it's. I mean, it's the lit literary version of National Lampoon's Vacation, where they drive, and they get to Wally World, and it's closed. I mean, the drive is frustrating, Wally World's frustrating, and now they have to go home after Wally World, and that's frustrating. That is this book. Frustrating. Whew. All right, let's get to the review. So the story, I gave it a five, two and a half stars. It, it, it's like 16 stories in one. None of them told completely through the story arc. I mean, I don't know what to say. Characters, I gave it three and a half stars here because I loved the ICC character. And I really liked the way... Um, I won't tell you how the people survive on the journey, but I, I, I like the way that, that it, it, you know, it evolved over time and, and how the people were the same yet different. You'll, you'll see it, if you decide to read this book technology, I gave it an eight. Look, the technology was cool. When they get to the Dyson sphere thing, that's cool. When they get back to earth, that's cool. And there's little glimpses of cool. ICC is cool. 
There's little glimpses are really cool all over this book. Originality, I also give it an 8. I mean, it's, you know, a, a, a generation ship, not that original. But when they get to the, you know, it's not a Dyson Sphere, so it's not a spoiler. Or I guess that maybe is a spoiler, but yeah, whatever. When they get to the destination, you know, it's, it's handled and described really well. This book, the writing is really, really excellent. The story telling in pieces is really, really good. But, but like I said, all together, it's, you know, I just cannot recommend it. So this is really the first book uh, that I've read in a long time where I cannot recommend it. I mean, I read the whole thing, which is odd. I mean, usually in these, when I, when I get involved in a book that I just don't like, I stop and just delete it from my Kindle. But that's why, that's what makes this book so tricky because it's good, 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 frustrating. Good, 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 frustrating again. And then you think, oh, it's going to end well. Like, it has to end well. Please end well. No. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. So. Anyway. It's about ten bucks on the Kindle. Which I think is too expensive. Um, if this was a two or three dollar book, I would tell you to read it just because it's got some interesting stuff, but 10 bucks, nah, on Audible, it's 36 bucks. There's just no way. Like, I, I can't even imagine this thing as an audio book. Like, don't drive, don't operate heavy machinery while listening to this book because there are points that will send you in a rage because it doesn't tie the loose ends, right? Like it doesn't, it just doesn't close them up, man. It's like wearing one sock. Like, I don't know how to explain the frustration. I mean, it's like walking around with one shoe on. Like, you know, you just don't feel right. Anyway, I appreciate you watching this review. And if you like the channel, please subscribe. Uh, you might want to check out Marina's other books. I, I think she's a pretty pu published author. Um, and... I hate to not recommend books because I really want the genre to have authors that we support. So maybe check out some of her other books and or, or, or and tell, read them and tell me what you think. And subscribe to the channel. Catch me on Twitter. Catch me on uh, Instagram. Greg reviews sci-fi pretty much everywhere. And uh, better luck next time on the book, I think. See you later.